What do you think is the end result of James Harden right now in this contentious relationship with the Rockets? Well, it, it, look, a divorce is inevitable. It's just a question of timing and what the Rockets can get back in return. I mean, when you talk to people in Houston, nobody is suggesting this is reparable, that, you know, a couple weeks playing with John Wall and maybe a reinvigorated Boogie Cousins is going to turn James Harden, you know, back into a rocket for life. Uh, but the Rockets, look, look, they don't want to be bullied into this. I mean, they they know the value of their player, despite you know what you know a lot of what you read now. I've seen some stuff out there about you know he's he's only a scorer. You know, there's a lot of disinformation going on in the public sphere about James Harden. His value is still incredibly high, and they want to make sure that they get dollar for dollar value back in return. And the reality is, you're not going to get that if you pull the trigger on a deal before the start of the season. So. Look, they're on an expedited time frame here. I don't think James Harden makes it past trade deadline, but I, I do think that um, you know it, it's going to be a process that's drawn out at least a few more weeks. So tell me about what the biggest gripe for James Harden is, because if you read pieces out there and, and follow the tea leaves, it sounds like the Rockets have always given James Harden everything that he has wanted. They have created a culture where James Harden says what needs to be done, and they do it. So what exactly is Harden unhappy about in Houston? Well, it, it, it's really not difficult to to figure out. I mean, yes, it's true that the Rockets have catered to James Harden's every need. They have given him a powerful voice in personnel decisions, whether it was you know acquiring Chris Paul, trading Chris Paul, acquiring Russell Westbrook, deciding that the Westbrook relationship wasn't working. Um, you know, James Harden has had a voice in all of this. Um, but James Harden's looking around Houston going, look, we don't have draft capital. We don't have championship level talent on the roster. We can't win. And I'm 31 years old and I want to go to a place where I can win a championship. Now, this is somewhat akin to, you know, lighting your house on fire and then saying, you know, what, I don't want to live there anymore. But, you know, this is the age of player empowerment. And despite having two guaranteed years left on his deal, James Harden knows that if he puts up uh, a stink, uh, he's going to force the Rockets' hand. And that's exactly what he's doing. So it's not – I don't think there's any kind of, you know, he's not happy with Rafael Stone or he preferred a different coach than Steven Silas. He's just looking objectively, like we all are, at that Rockets roster – and saying it's not a championship roster. And with only a few more years left in his prime, he wants to go to a place that has one.